New at 10 disturbing new details coming from the U.S. Census Bureau. It says nearly one in three South Texans are now living in poverty. Texas is still home to some of the poorest counties in the country. The problem is even worse right here in the valley. CBS 4's Nestor Mottle joins us with those details tonight. Nestor. Marcy, all four counties of the Valley making it on the top five list of the poorest regions in Texas. Willis County ranked number one, and with more jobs leaving that area, residents continue to worry. The U.S. Census Bureau says among counties with at least 10,000 residents, border areas continue to have the highest rates of residents living in poverty. The problem is gravest in Willis County. Almost 40% of residents considered poor by the Census Bureau. Over 45% of children living in poverty. It's hard. The census determines poverty based on income and family size. A family of four is considered poor if the household income is less than 24,000 a year. The lack of jobs and the population of undocumented immigrants playing a factor. A lot of people don't have the right education or training. And really, there just aren't enough jobs out there. Last year, inmate riots at the Willis County Correction Center forced it to close, leaving over 200 people without jobs and the county in a $200,000 deficit. Revenue lost by the center's closure forced the county to restructure its budget. 20 county employees laid off. Now Walmart has announced the closure of the county's only location in Raymondville. We have 149 people that are going to be losing their job at this Walmart. Laura Cavazos of Workforce Solutions says people continue to come in looking for assistance in finding work. We have staff from Workforce Solutions working with the EDC and the mayor at Raymondville right now. That way we can work together to see what is best for that area. Star, Cameron and Hidalgo counties rounding out the top four poorest counties respectively with poverty rates in the mid 30 percentile. Valley residents hoping that things get better. We just don't know what to do. All we can do is leave it in God's hands. That's all. Cavazos of the Valley Workforce says 80% of those Walmart employees will have the option to transfer to another location. For the rest, the struggle continues. In the studio, Nestor Mato, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.